condemnation of River State government's interim injunction against conduct of Black Friday sales, shutdown of Spa Potter Court Mall. The interim order of injunction obtained from Magistrate Court by the River State government that restrained the management of Spa Potter Court Mall from conducting its earlier proposed Black Friday sales that was later for 18th to 27th of November 2022 is regrettably another sad narrative of the insensitivity of the state government to the welfare of rivers people. The state government didn't just end there, but went ahead to shut down the facility, leaving other businesses operating within the Portacourt Mall out of business and hundreds of river suits thrown again into the already saturated labor market. One may ask, to what end is this level of pertinence by a state government which has failed to create an enabling environment for investment and businesses to thrive in the state? This ill-motivated move first began with the state government's warning that the management of Spa Potter Court Mall must show the environmental and safety measures put in place before carrying out the scheduled Black Friday sales. We are very much aware that the aim of organizing Black Friday sales activity is usually for purpose of offering Kirara sales full of special shopping deals and big discounts on variety of wares in order to ease the economic pressure on customers and citizens. Black Friday traditionally refers to the day after the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday. It is typically a day full of mouth-watering shopping deals and big discounts for all varieties of wares, including groceries, electronics, fashion, and etc. Hence, a government that claims to concern itself with the safety and welfare of its citizens of the state should begin by demonstrating it in ensuring that street lights in Portacourt and its environs are kept on at night to guarantee the safety of citizens and to reduce crime and criminality in our state. The issue of multiple taxations and excesses of members of the state tax force on street trading, illegal motor parks, and others who go about muscling up small and medium scale businesses in the state should be addressed without further delay. A legal framework should be put in place to regulate and curb the incessant increments of residential and business accommodation facilities in the state. These and much more are some of the ways to guarantee the safety and well-being of citizens instead of embarking on the ill-intended move to frustrate and cripple one of the most viable public-private partnership facilities, the Portacourt Mall. A legacy of Governor Wilkes' predecessor, former Governor Rotimi Amechi's administration. From our findings, this move to frustrate Spa Potter Court Mall out of business may not be unconnected with the emergence of the Hyper City Shopping Mall, of which it is an open secret that top officials of the state government have vested interests. And more evident is the fact that part of why the government obtained the restraining order and subsequent shutdown of Spa, Portacourt Mall, may not be unconnected with the Black Friday sales offers by Hyper City Shopping Mall, which also kick-started from the 18th through 30th November 2022. Whereas Spa, Portacourt Mall had proposed its Black Friday sales for 18th November through 27th November 2022. Thus, this style of politicking with the lives and the economic well-being of rivers people at every instance is totally unacceptable. Considering the harsh economic realities and the unitized season, the Black Friday sales offer by Spa Potter Court Mall would have provided some kind of succor to thousands of families and citizens and residents of the state. But not thanks to a government that glories in inflicting hardship and pain on its citizens. I therefore call on the River State Government to retrace each step without further delay. I also call on civil society groups and all well-meaning citizens of the state to rise up and resist this impunity and wicked move aimed at further impoverishing the people of River State.